Turn the volume up on this one. Posted to the haunted subreddit. Work at home freak 99 writes, I live alone and this is a motion or light activated camera. That's me just turning off the light and heading off to bed. Now listen. A loud gravelly voice says either help, go, or come. Depending on which Redditor you ask, personally I hear the word help in a sort of Yelp fashion. The OP writes, if I had heard that voice, I would have flipped out. They also say the sound came from the kitchen where the camera is set up, because creepy stuff happens there sometimes. Many are saying the voice is creepy AF and sounds like the cookie monster. Regardless, this redditor should probably try their luck with one of the options currently on the board before this monster takes matters into its own hands. Go. Go. While driving over a long period of time, it wouldn't be unusual to hallucinate a sighting on the side of the road, a deer or a cow perhaps, but might an entire car full of people see the same hallucination at once? While driving in the Philippines, a group including actress Myrtle Sorosa was traveling across what the narrator describes as a far-flung area. They had to take an alternative route from the original as one was flooded while another was shut down due to a landslide. After enough road was cleared to cross, they traveled across the mainly deserted uninhabited area. No street lamps some trees but mainly just road. It was after midnight when, out of nowhere, they saw it. <laughs> what appeared to be a 10-year-old child wearing a bluish-white shirt crouched in the middle of the road with his arms and hands covering his face. An uproar can be heard on the video as they pass the figure, and most of the people in the car claim to have seen the boy. They wanted to stop and return, but the area was unsafe, so they decided to watch the dash cam footage to make sure that their eyes weren't deceiving them. The footage showed a white blob-like orb figure appear and then quickly vanish. The driver believed the spirit they saw was of a child who had his life taken by a typhoon. According to one passenger, if he was really just a spirit, I hope he can find rest. If he was really a child, my conscience will forever haunt. NASA scientists are in the middle of conducting a nine hour space experiment when this strangely haunting static fills their ears. NASA experts describe the noise only as complex signals. They think it could be anything from equipment vibrations to gravity waves, but I think it sounds like it could be some radio signal from another galaxy. Many believe that some kind of life form was trying to contact us. And I agree that's a definite possibility, especially considering the sound was only heard for a single minute and never again. Either way, the mysterious sound you've just heard was recorded in 2014 and has been baffling experts ever since. No clear explanation has ever been provided, so I'd like to get yours if possible. It's 3 in the morning when Daniel, Christiansen's dog, begins growling and the bedroom door swings open. Daniel is staring into the dark hallway while recording with his camera, waiting for something to happen. What a trip. Here you can see what could be the head, shoulders, and left arm of a shadow person. It's towards the corner of the room on the right hand side. Let me know if you see it. Then the shadow appears again, much closer this time. It's way too dark though, so I can't tell for sure if it's a shadow or just his thumb. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. 
He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself, but for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started, ones that make you the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013, back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. Are you a demon? The light turns on behind him, even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. Suddenly, his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something. Though I suspect they could have been chasing each other, he crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room, but at 1 minute and 58 seconds the light seems to glow even brighter than before, and he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh man. Oh. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now, but day after day, Arki continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near, pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. Are you a demon? The way it answers in a full sentence exactly 5 seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 2.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 3.8. Four point two nine nine. Oh man, this is this, this is incredible. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far if you ask me. I don't know why Arky hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arky gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over five years is, in fact, going way too far. This dog knows what's up. Published by Ghost Hunting Unique 0.4 in April of 2022, this dog is seen staring down the road. He then runs away without explanation. That's when this figure appears suddenly in the middle of the road. The figure later vanishes.
But then this weirdo pops up, scaring a passerby. It's unclear what he wants, but he too vanishes after a moment. Later, another figure disappears as he's crossing the street. Is this just a road of no return? The Bermuda Triangle of Pavement? Or is something else going on here? Friends explore a park in North Hollywood after hearing reports of a maniac approaching random people. Soon they grow bored and decide to try to test the visual range of their night vision camera for fun. He tells his friend to keep moving back until she is barely visible. It's on night vision. Keep going. Soon she is little more than an outline of a black silhouette against the night sky. When she is a good distance away, something that's been watching them the entire time snatches her into the shadows. If this video is real, then whatever grabs her possesses impossible strength and speed. It picks her up off her feet like she weighs nothing at all, which makes me wonder how big this creature is and how it manages to move so fast without any sound. JP Videos is exploring a seemingly haunted abandoned house when he gets some really scary stuff caught on tape. The place has fallen into a state of disrepair and it only gets creepier when they find rotten steps leading into the basement. All right, let's go down the uh, creepy spiral staircase. The mattresses look to be cleaner and newer than anything else down here. Creepy mattresses down here. It's like a partially finished basement, but it's random mattresses laying around. And the blinds are pulled closed like somebody has been sleeping here recently. Hopefully there are no strangers down here because a surprise encounter would probably not be pleasant. The basement stretches across many different rooms. JP is getting all of the hidden rooms on camera when some really scary stuff is caught on tape. These are my favorite type of explorers too, just abandoned houses, you know, seeing contents from the former owners and just trying to imagine what took place here. A lone crib on display in the center of the room gives him a nauseous feeling. But this, uh, okay, little creepy. Fastened around the top is a plank of wood with other pieces of scrap wood laying nearby. When tied over the top with a rope, this crib becomes more like a cage that is too small for even a toddler to stand in. Multiple mattresses in the corner create the impression that this building has been overtaken by numerous squatters. I seriously hope no one was left to fend for themselves in that crib. No food or water, hopelessly and cruelly trapped under these two boards. A woman with an octopus on her face tries to laugh it off, despite her extreme fear. What does she say here? It's mercifully hanging out of her mouth for now, but if it moves in any further, then it would be reaching down her throat. She is one wrong move away from having her oxygen cut off. Its tentacles squirm around her eyes and across her tongue as she screams and pulls the creature free with one last burst of strength. The octopus itself looks like it came straight out of the ocean. I can only imagine how disgusting the lingering aftertaste must have been. Have you ever got the feeling that you're being followed? Poppy's Paradise posted this footage to Reddit writing, Something is following me. The guy in the clip says he was driving when he noticed something outside in the darkness. He stopped his car on the side of the road to film whatever it is, and he shouts a greeting to the figure outside the window. There's something up here. Hello? As he drives slowly past, the something that he saw following him comes into view. The figure looks like a girl straight out of the ring, dressed in white with long black hair. The ghastly creature is seen only for a moment before the clip ends. Is this thing truly following him? We can only hope this was his only sighting. You would need serious courage to stay calm in a situation like this. Emma is too afraid to come into her parents' room because she says she can see a bad man in there with them. 
When her mother asks to point where the person is, she indicates that it's in a dark closet which is open. The mother examines the closet. She doesn't see anything, but she seems to get an uneasy feeling that matches her daughter's emotions. What, baby? What, daddy? daddy? Okay, go get daddy. The child turns around and freezes. She is too afraid to move without her mother following closely behind her. There's something about this video that seems very dark and genuine. Obviously, the mother felt a presence too, or she would have not uploaded this video with the title of Two-Year-Old Girl Sees Ghost Again. Overall, more information is needed before I make a final judgment, but let me know if you think Emma was seeing something that her parents could not on that night. How would you feel if your CCTV camera caught this? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Relevant Hole 5903 This footage of a woman in white was caught on camera in the dark of night. It shows a ghostly figure in white crossing the grounds outside of a gated building with barbed wire fixed to the top. The stranger walks slowly in her flowing dress until she leaves the camera's sight. Some are suggesting this is a classic walk of shame. Others think the Redditor lives next to some shady stuff, but some are sure it's the legendary La Lorena. If it is, stay clear of water, because the legend goes that she would take your life in the water. Redditor Blues Forever 67 writes, This is one of those instances where I think, what if we see ghosts all the time, but they're so vivid that we just think they're people? I have to agree with that statement. My mind has been blown by this footage. If you're like me, there's one thing apart from sharks that you were scared of when swimming in any pool as a child, the pool drain. As it turns out, we weren't worrying in vain. The 18-year-old lifeguard in this video is trapped by the pool drain and held under to the point of becoming unconscious. How did this happen? The lifeguard dove into the water to retrieve a kid's goggles that were dropped at the bottom of the pool, and when he reached his arm into the pool drain, it reached back. He couldn't get his arm out of the drain. Pulling and tugging, he was quickly losing air and probably hyperventilating, making him lose it even faster. When the other lifeguards finally realized that their friend hadn't come up yet and in fact was motionless at the bottom of the pool, they jumped into action. One of the lifeguards cleared the pool while the other dove in to save his colleague. He tugged and tugged, trying to get the arm to release, but it wasn't moving. The rescuer swam to the surface and told the other lifeguard to call 911. He then tried again to release his colleague from the drain to no avail. When he came up for air again, someone said to turn off the pumps. The drain was acting like a suction cup on its victim. Pulling mercilessly and not letting go, a single lifeguard's power is no match for this vacuum. So that's what he did. He turned off the whole system, but he was still unable to free his colleague as the pump was somehow still in force. When a paramedic arrived, he dove in and they were at last able to free the lifeguard. The guy was underwater for about six or seven minutes, but after performing CPR, they got a spontaneous pulse. They transported the lifeguard by helicopter. Where he began seizing, his brain was swelling, but medication was administered and he fell into a coma. There were no signs of brain damage when he regained consciousness. While this footage is a rescue 911 reenactment of what actually happened and a dated one at that, it is scary and reminds us that there's no doubt that pool drains can be dangerous. They can even kill. Apparently, ghosts like peering out of windows because here's another creepy phantom showing up when you least expect him. This YouTuber captured this ghostly white figure staring out of the upper window of a nearby brick building. She posted the footage to YouTube in June of 2010, explaining that she took the video on her cell phone while playing on the green. She writes, We saw a face in the window of a locked room. Kieran, the manager, took us up to look afterwards, but there was nobody there and the room is out of use. Couldn't sleep after I took this. As mentioned, Demi was taking the video of some guys playing catch on the lawn when one of them spotted the figure in the upper window, alerting Demi to the terrifying watcher. 
She zooms in on the window to catch the pale face of a young boy in the lower left corner. The figure slowly moves out of view. The remainder of the video shows the group climbing the stairs to see who is watching them from the upper room. When they arrive there, it's empty and looks as though it has been for years. There's graffiti on the walls and it appears no one lives there. Many in the comments call the video unsettling, noting that's not how a person moves. Ghost or not, I wouldn't want to run into this boy anywhere, let alone in this room. Submitted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Ding Dong Dingle Dude, this redditor wrote, My friend and I saw this weird floating structure in the sky. Has anyone else seen something like this before? Let's watch their submission and see what they're talking about. What the Dude, that's just floating up there in this f***ing sky. What the f***? What the f***? It f***ing flashed. It, it, oh my, what? Dude, are you, are you recording? There was certainly some debate about this video in the comments. Mountain Aviator One wrote, That is the mysterious radio tower. It's obstructed by clouds. Well, the Triple B thinks it's a weather balloon. What do you think this object is? Let me know in the comments. The Chernobyl power plant left this place covered in radiation in 1986. Only recently was a small part reopened for tourism in 2011. The rest is still too radiated and therefore off limits. Russian YouTuber Vlad Reznov wants to test these limits. He goes exploring the woods and finds an old abandoned cottage. That would be perfect for a 24-hour challenge. Night falls. Roving cliques are rumored to be out here. Families aggressively changed by radiation who don't like outsiders. And they know he's here. They can't get inside because he's tied the doorknob to the bedpost, so they can't go around the outside. <laughs> now is his chance. He opens the door while they are trying to get in through a window. Not sure if there is more waiting for him inside and expecting to get jumped around every corner. The bike is outside. He has to get to his bike. He makes it out of there, but there is an overall lack of urgency to this video that makes me think it could be fake. We don't ever get to see this mutant family, so it could be one of his friends opening the door. They probably found an abandoned house and thought it would be a good place for a scary video, but I guess we'll never know for sure. A group of friends see a stranger leave the woods in a hurry. They think it's odd and make a video. Andy caught someone coming out of the tunnel. Uh, pretty creepy, pretty scary. So. Oh, bro, what's that smell? Oh, it's rank. Can you smell that? Guys, it literally flies all over the place. Oh, bro, could you smell that? That stinks, oh, bro. Oh, nasty, man. In the tunnel, they find a white sheet covered in red with a very distinct human outline underneath. And this is their reaction. <coughs> that stinks. <coughs> 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 Man, that was grim. Hey, we right need to ring the police. As crazy as anything. Having this happen would be really scary. We need to ring the police. What? We need to ring the police. Have you got a phone? No, I've not got a phone. Get have you phone, got one? Bro. Hey, can I have police, please? One minute you're hanging out with your friends, and the next moment you're all suspects. Yeah, I've just found, uh, just been exploring with me and we've just found a body. Stalking should never be taken lightly, as is made clear by this next video, published by Terry TV in December of 2020. 
A streamer named Ellie Gato, dressed in costume, is walking through the streets of a Japanese city at night. Fun, right? Well, it was until this guy showed up. The stalker captured on camera is not even trying to hide his intent. Walking alongside the streamer with a sword known as a katana, he smiles as Ellie Gato laughs uncomfortably. Why is this knuckle following us? Why is he following us? Uh, let's go this way. Oh god. When she and her friend double around to try and lose him, the man follows. Ellie Gato says they should go find her friend's husband. As she continues to try and lose the man, her laughter turns to real fear and concern. She even starts running as she attempts to call someone on the phone. She is brought to tears as the man gives chase. Fear Tales explains that a bystander noticed what was going on and pointed the girls to a hospital for protection. Can I help us go to police? He is seen in the video running alongside Ellie Gato and serving as a witness to the man's predatory behavior. Later, the stalker is seen being led by authorities into a station. Although this scenario seemingly started as a joke, it quickly took a terrifying turn. Thankfully, this bystander didn't just stand by. Exploring with Devin is a YouTube channel full of mini adventures and gaming vids. This time, Devin is biking along the side of the road when he sees this creepy old abandoned house waiting to be explored. Soon, a full-grown adult appears in the overgrown front lawn and questions him while walking forward. What are you doing in here? I just wanted to explore. What are you stealing? No, I just wanted to explore. He accuses Devin of taking from his property. Even though it looks like there is nothing worth taking, who knows what would have happened if he reached Devin, or how exactly he plans to search him. Once he gets a good distance away, Devin says that he didn't take anything and that the man is trespassing anyway. The property looks abandoned, but the man does check his mailbox while he is out there. So he either does own this property or has completely lost his mind. Shadows can be tricky things. Sometimes they're natural. Other times they lean more towards the paranormal. This one seems to be the latter. Posted on Reddit by user Ukair, the Redditor writes that he still has goosebumps after receiving this clip. Some in the comments admitted to being upset with yet another orb post. But then, after watching it all the way through, their yearning for nightmare fuel was rewarded. Although it just looks like the still image of a cell. Wait for it, and wait for it, and wait for it some more, and you just might be rewarded too. The Redditor wrote that his friend works the night shift here at this institution in a former police station. The room where this is filmed is not in current use, but in the past was a place where people checked out of custody. Some in the comments say the video looks legit. Others pointed out a creepy long face that makes a split second appearance. Most in the thread comes to a consensus that this happenstance is very creepy and goosebump inducing. Could it be a haunting or something worse? Whatever it might be, it's certainly mysterious. Most unidentified flying objects involve blinking lights. This one has no light, which perhaps adds to its mystery. Published by Burbex in June of 2021, this mysterious video captured a triangular-shaped unidentified flying object in the sky over Shanghai, China, which caused some speculation on the internet. The dark triangle was captured overhead in multiple videos, piercing through the clouds or smog as they shift past. Oh.
According to Burbax, some of this footage was filmed from the Panorama Hotel, and in the video, he is on a mission to solve the mystery. He heads to the hotel where an unusual number of police and security officers are gathered outside, but there reportedly was an alleged gas leak on the next street over. Burbax heads inside and up to the 27th floor where one of the videos was filmed. Looking over the bund, it's hard to imagine what could have projected that triangle into the sky. Burbex then talks with other Shanghaiers who spotted the mysterious, unidentified flying object. One of them shows the photo he captured on camera from below. He notes that the shape of the building is a triangle and there are lights on the top of the building. <laughs> When the lights are cast upward and clouds are overhead, the lights bounce off of them, creating the triangular image in the sky. Although some might be disappointed that this isn't an unidentified flying object, for others, solving this mystery is incredibly satisfying. When you happen upon a cave carved into a mountainside, you might want to think twice before entering. Published to YouTube by The Highway 9 in September of 2017, this video serves as a warning to never ever go caving alone. The footage takes you through a deep and dark rock hewn cave. Along the way, bats are seen hanging from the ceiling, and a long black centipede like insect is climbing the walls. But the creepiest part is yet to come. As the YouTuber rounds a corner, he senses something deeper in the tunnel. He presses on, peering into the darkness, and seems to see a figure beyond. Highway writes, I'm not sure what I saw, but it scared the wits out of me. Needless to say, he fled the scene as anyone would. YouTuber Lee Stat444 writes in the comments, this is what happens when you enter a cave full of bats, dusts, and insects. You find Batman. Whether this unfortunate explorer found that or something much more nefarious is anybody's guess. But I'm gonna err on the side of the second choice. A YouTuber who goes by Anne posted this video back in 2014 of her sleepwalking activity at night. Using a webcam, she is able to record herself night after night jolting up while still being completely asleep. People have debated the authenticity of this video in the comments, but Anne swears she still does this every night to this day. I genuinely believe this footage is real because sleepwalking is a well-documented behavior. Anne says she finds the footage hilarious, but there's something certainly chilling about that blank stare directly into the camera as she's 100% asleep. After setting up a camera in her home, YouTuber Kathy Nito turns out the light, and what comes after just might be a ghost. Watch for the white thing once Kathy is distracted. Do you see that? Kathy believes this is a ghost. Well, I don't think it's a bug, as it appears to be too large and chaotic to be an insect. I'm not sure if my first thought would jump to the paranormal. It looks more like a spider web or some other flying debris to me. Still, whatever it is, it's creepy. Do you have any ideas as to what this could be? Redditor ComfortableCry8097 heard a noise while in bed. When she checked out her ring camera the next morning, this is what she saw. First, a noise is heard. Now watch the back center near the banister. What is that? To most in the comments, it looks like a full-bodied ghost, and it sounds like it's causing even more mayhem in the home. According to the Redditor, the figure was heading toward her bedroom, but the door remained shut. Will most agree that it's a ghost, and I concur. Some suggest this could be a compressed artifact or some other camera glitch. But what of the noise? That one is not so easily explained. The team from Extinct File believes they were confronted by a demon who is pretending to be a priest. As they're first exploring the haunted place, they get an eerie vibe right away.
When they ask the spirit what to do, it provides a resounding answer. Dígame lo que quiera decirme. As he prays and then starts to hear noises, he realizes something else is there. <laughs> Later, they're explaining what happened when they hear the noise again. <laughs> The demon doesn't let up. <sighs> then when they're about to leave, this happens. Oh, my luz, ese, se me está queriendo apagar. ¿Qué pasó? No mames, cámara 2. Está sangrando, güey. A ver, a ver qué. What caused this cruise member's nosebleed? I'd say it's all too obvious. It was definitely that grunting demon, and who knows if it's finished with them. YouTuber Chad Miller found a secret room in the attic of his house. You don't see this every day, he writes. You certainly don't. It looks like Chad is just moving into a new house, and now the fun begins. It's time to explore it. Inside a closet, he finds a ladder-like stairwell leading into a secret hidden room. As he crawls in, you find that it doesn't look like any old attic, unfinished with cobwebs and stacked with unruly odds and ends. Instead, the attic looks well finished with wooden walls, light fixtures and a nice clean space. It's like a sauna but air conditioned, Chad says. It does in fact look like a sauna. The room is rather large, with all wooden walls and even a couple of wooden benches. What was this super secret room used for? We can only guess. All I know is that I wouldn't mind finding this secret room in my new home. Lingering above the colony venue in Woodstock, New York, YouTuber Woodstock Web Girl captured this strange unidentified flying object on camera. What is that? Here's a closer look. One YouTuber says it's an airplane, but I've never seen an airplane appear round in form, even from a great distance. Airplanes also don't generally hang in the same spot for a long period of time. While I can't say for sure that it's extraterrestrial, it's certainly unidentifiable and flying, so it is technically an unidentified flying object. There's a phantom haunting this women's bathroom, and she doesn't like being disturbed. Posted to the r slash paranormal encounter subreddit by Kiraxis, this entity was captured in a women's bathroom in Colombia. The footage shows an empty building at night. Something can be heard causing a disturbance in the bathroom. Estoy nuevamente aquí, en la puerta del baño. The security guard looks up and down both hallways. He then approaches the bathroom where he finds that the noise is the faucet shutting on and off. Se prenden las luces. Está jugando con la llave. ¿Ah? At first, you think that could easily be explained away by some technical malfunction, but then one of the air dryers is triggered too. After a moment, a door from one of the bathroom stalls slams shut, and that's the last straw for the security guard. He flees the scene. 
Could this be the real life version of the fictional Moaning Myrtle? Whoever it is, they sure chose a strange place in which to spend eternity. The last thing you'd want to see in a mall closed at night is a kid, or even worse, a child ghost. That's what a mall security guard in Brazil purportedly recorded at 2.30 a.m. The video was later submitted to Reddit. In the clip, you can see a small figure moving up what appears to be an escalator at a distance. What an escalator would be doing on at 2.30 a.m., I'm not sure. When the security guard races over to the escalator, the camera pans up, but there's no one in sight. It's also unclear if the escalator is still moving. Then it pans around and behind him in the darkness. You can see a child figure in white skipping across the linoleum. BNNRP in the comments translates the Portuguese. According to him, the security guard says, See, what did I tell you? Look at her there. This is the second time I see her this week. I had to film this to show people because nobody believes me when I tell them. Don't know about you, but I believe him now. The next time you look into your baby monitor, you might find an unnerving guardian angel. That's what happened to a friend of XX Blaze and XX who posted this clip to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor writes in the comments, A friend of mine had recently put her child to bed, and she has gone through every single thought of how to justify this figure, but it looks like a little child walking in and around the crib. By the time log on the baby monitor, you can see it's around 9.40 p.m., and if you look closely, you'll catch a ghost white shadow figure walk around the back of the crib as the baby sleeps on. The figure creeps around one side of the crib before pacing back to the head of the crib and coming slightly around the other side. Then it moves back. At the end of the clip, it appears most visible, leaving its sentient spot, probably in order to make itself a sandwich. What was this phantom caretaker doing? Do you think it's a friendly guardian, or does the babysitter have evil intent? Whatever the case, safeguard that baby. It's better to be safe than sorry. Meteors keep flying over Japan, and they keep getting weirder each time. This relatively normal one, spotted in February of 2013, looks to be on a downward course until it burns up in the atmosphere at the last second. Then, just one year later, another one manages to get even closer, this time piercing a cloud. This dash cam video was supposedly taken near Hanoi, Vietnam, and was posted on Facebook where it spread to the local news. In it, the car soon pulls up to a figure dressed in all white standing in the middle of the road. The drivers are quite concerned that this individual is standing in the middle of a pitch black road, alone besides one street light above. They don't ask the person anything. Instead, they quickly drive away. While many online thought it was a ghost of some kind, news agencies have said that this was a woman who is not mentally well and was possibly attempting to take her own life. Let's hope she got the help she needed before it was too late. It's almost midnight when this YouTuber makes the mistake of going for a late night motorcycle ride. Completely unaware of the paranormal activity about to be caught on camera, he sees a figure in white and slows down, suddenly feeling unsafe and vulnerable with a ghost in his sights. <laughs> As he speeds away, he says the mysterious figure appears and disappears in the side view mirror. I kind of see what he's saying, but the mirror is so dirty that I'm not sure if this proves much of anything. Still, what this person is doing by themselves at midnight is anyone's guess. They seem to be slowly looking for something, which is beyond creepy when you think about it. Someone's always gotta ruin the party, posted to TikTok by Suntu Kajasi. This group took a bunch of photos at a waterfall in Indonesia, but one pic turned out much creepier than the rest. As the group poses before this beautiful falls, a black robe figure is spotted, lurking in the background. You cannot see its face, but it seems to be watching them. What is this figure doing? And did it lose their life in these falls? 
I guess we're left with more questions than answers for this one. Just when you think you are safe, published in July of 2017, this major fright is of the natural variety. Well, inside a Maruti showroom, a raging storm roars outside its glass storefront. Wind, rain, the whole shebang. The wind grows more hostile. It looks like the whole showroom is going through a car wash. The store's employees and customers alike watch this wild weather, feeling safe and sound inside. But they shouldn't feel safe. The scary wind suddenly blows so hard that it smashes the glass, which shatters and collapses before their very eyes. And then it's chaos. Everyone runs as far away from the storefront as they can. People are screaming. Once the cameraman gathers his bearings and turns around to have a look, you can see water and glass scattered everywhere. People are still running around in a panic. They manage to cram themselves into a compact room near the back. From there, you can see it wasn't only the front window that shattered. Another to the side is broken too, causing crosswinds to whistle through the showroom from every angle. Ceiling tiles start to fall, and the whole building seems on the verge of collapse. I hope everyone here made it out safely. This gin has a sense of humor. Published by Hassan Barbar in May of 2022, the paranormal explorer is in this abandoned place when a gin alerts him to his presence, yet he does not appear. As the unseen makes more noise, Hassan follows the sound, then the thing starts to laugh. Or is this a laugh? <laughs> The noise continues, leading him around this empty maze. Soon it sounds like it's breaking something apart, and then that unnerving laughter again. Where is it coming from? The djinn speaks to him, but what does he want? We may never know. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أعوذ بكلمات الله الدمات من شر ما خلق a YouTuber named Kelsey Davies is investigating a haunted house in a neighborhood in California with a particularly nefarious history. After setting up a flashlight in the middle of an otherwise empty room, Kelsey and her team discover an oddly shaped anomaly traveling clockwise. Nothing is dangling above them to reflect light, so like them, I have no idea what this is, but I'm open to your guesses. It's moving, it's shape is shit. Yeah, this thing's been moving for like a long time. We don't know what it is. At 1 minute and 55 seconds, Kelsey claims that the object turned into the outline of a face. I think it still looks the same as before, but tell me if you can see what she means. Maybe. I like see outlines of it. Like it looks like a head. Oh my god, it. You can see it's, in it's like a body. A postal worker is moving some mail around an office building and summons an elevator. There's an overhead light in the third camera that flickers from the very beginning of the video onwards, which may or may not be an indication of something paranormal. Notice how this electrical disturbance briefly spreads to the elevator as soon as the doors open. So far, this could just be a technical malfunction, but that doesn't explain what happens next. Watch as the papers start fluttering on their own despair there, being no possible draft inside of the cramped space. I can't help but notice how the papers stop fluttering every time he looks over, only to resume again when he stops paying attention. It definitely looks paranormal to me. Again, the lights flicker on and off as soon as the doors open, almost as if a paranormal entity is getting on and off the elevator with him. He notices that the lights are flashing an awful lot down here, but he chooses to ignore it and keeps moving. A short while later, this phantom businessman partially emerges from a realm beyond our own. I have trouble believing this part is not computer generated effects, but that doesn't necessarily mean the whole video is fake. Maybe everything up to this part was real, and someone added in this final scare at the end. Or worse still, maybe 
maybe I'm wrong and this ghost really was behind him. Who you gonna call? Likely this Russian YouTuber after watching this video. The YouTuber writes in Russian, When I started the project, I did not even imagine that it would get such results. Thousands of your posts about missed moments in Ghostbuster. The YouTuber explains that in past videos that he's posted, subscribers have found paranormal looking figures in the abandoned buildings he's explored. He ghost busts a couple of these myths, showing that looks can be deceiving. Looks to be a white figure beyond in the shadows of a darkened room. Dima explains that it was actually two pieces of white paper taped to the wall. However, he admits that other experiences do stump him. In one estate, something dark appears to be sliding slowly up a doorway in a room beyond. He concludes that it was either a bat rather than something paranormal, or that considering the estate is in the middle of Moscow, something else was on the premises and stuck their hand around the corner to see if he'd notice. Lastly, while exploring an estate, a ghost is seemingly captured peering from under the archway of a room. At this point during his exploration, Dima admits that a chill ran through his entire body. This one appears to stump Dima's and he asks his viewers if they want him to return to this place and try and recreate the scene and its circumstances to figure out once and for all what happened here. Do you want to know? Or do you think the undead are best left undisturbed? There's a face in the wall. Can you see it? <laughs> The eyes are wide and black, and the face is a little more than a tiny frown. Then, after one minute and five seconds, I think I see a hand appear. They say it looks like the face of a girl, but the youngest daughter swears up and down that she had nothing to do with it. She wasn't there last She never went. She never went, no. And when, just for fun, they ask the face on the wall if it is the spirit of someone young or old, they get a weird response. Um, put a, a light if you're younger. So is this really a spirit, or just an imprint left behind of a child who stuck their face against a dirty wall? What happens when the next generation wants nothing to do with the family property in the middle of nowhere? Published by Jordan Sovis, Jordan and Chris explore a house that's been abandoned out in the country for a couple of years. They crawl under the garage door and jimmy their way in using a credit card. Inside, they find a lovely piano for the ghost pianist to play. And while searching the place, they spot someone outside. Dude, there's a dude outside. What? Hasn't this place been abandoned for like... Ever? Is this the home's caretaker? Or something else entirely? Using a pendulum, they start asking the ghosts questions. They ask if they're in good spirits, and they're told no. Later, they ask the spirits if they can make their presence known, and the spirit answers, Are you present with us here in this house? As they start to panic, the ghosts don't let up. Did that seriously just happen? Calm down. Calm down. What is going on? Was that you? For some reason, even after all of that, the guys stay. They again ask if there are spirits here, and this time the spirits reply with a song. The piano keeps playing, even after they've raced out of the house. No way, dude. Dude. No way. Did that piano just seriously play by itself? Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. <sighs> Still, they return. The piano continues to play and then this happens. Not long after, the ghost goes full on poltergeist. Now we can see why this home was abandoned in the first place. What was it? Go. You go first, man. I don't want to be in this Dude, place. I don't want it straight up. Holy <laughs> Dude, what Why are you laughing right now? Seriously. What is going on? I'm delirious. An African expedition becomes tense when a group sees a hippo nearby and then lose sight of it. I was hit by it for sure, y'all. I just kept charging, he was, he was feeding it. Hippos are known to overturn boats and other craft, so they have to be careful. Just watch because he charged down this channel there. Just when one of them says it could be nearby, 
The animal comes out of the water and gives them a surprise. Fortunately, this one looks like a scared juvenile that just wants to get out of there more than anything. If it was a few years older, this video would have probably come to a much more brutal conclusion. Have you ever seen something that actually wasn't there? What if you found out later that what you were seeing was real? Published by Wawa in January of 2022, she says she got home, had partaken in some herbs, and later that night took these videos. This is what she captured. In one video, a shadow peers out from behind a door in the hallway. It looks like a face peeking around from the upper corner. She writes that she was snapping videos to her friends and eventually looked up and caught this head from behind a door in her closet. Thinking she was just tripping, she filmed two more videos. When she watched the videos back in the morning, sober, she was even more disturbed by what she captured. The clearer video truly does look like a head peeking out from the doorway, but several photos show there's nothing there or behind the door that would cast that shadow or poke out in any way. Obviously, this was not a hallucination, but what could it be? Someone is watching you. Published by Paranormal Voyages in January of 2022, this paranormal crew is not just paranoid. As they're tuning into the spirits and or demons of this place, one of the crew sees something pop up outside through the window. There's something outside. Here. Here. Later, as she's wearing headphones to listen in to what the spirits have to say, she feels someone, and then that someone speaks. Who are you? What are you? Whoa! Move her chair, it said, in a deep man's voice. Well, so you move the chair. After the demon says to touch her and make her cry, the crew urges the demon to leave. Make her cry, it said. No, you cannot no, make her cry. You're gonna have to leave. You can't yeah. do anything negative. The woman looks very shaken up, and she says she felt weird vibes. Are these the vibes of a demon? More than likely. Isn't nature beautiful? This video shows us it's actually terrifying. Redditor Sarah in Alaska shared this clip of this stunning Alaskan wilderness, but listen closely to the audio. She's wondering if viewers hear a voice, and if so, if you can tell what it's saying. Redditor Endangered Mind 2 suggests that the voice says, race back down and Sarah agrees as they just reach the summit. After listening repeatedly, I agree that this is what it sounds like, but the voice is not theirs, so whose is it? I don't have any answers, but I think I'd keep off this trail for a while or never hike it again. A paranormal video from Russia follows ghost hunter Sergei Sokolov on an urban exploration that creeps him out. The investigation eventually leads him to what appears to be a recently used altar. Crushed cans rest on three points of the evil-looking star, north, west, and southeast, probably where candles are going to soon be burned for a ritual of some kind. But it looks like a summoning ritual might have already been performed when this happens. They are wrapping up the paranormal video in typical YouTube style when something weird is caught on camera behind him. Some people say this is a possible paranormal entity, but if you pay attention, it looks like it could be a drawing on the wall. But even so, why is only the drawing lighting up? This old VHS tape of a girl dancing is definitely paranormal. At least if you believe what the uploader Sharon Bailey has to say. First an orb floats up towards the child between the 13 and 14 second mark. Shortly afterwards, a strange mist fills the air. Maybe it's something else, but I'm not sure because it seems to specifically wrap itself around the child. The last part is what has Sharon convinced that this is paranormal. She says that there were no other children in the house, but 31 seconds into the video, another little girl runs by at full speed. Her footsteps don't make a single sound. Take a listen. 
The camera was picking up little coughs and other background noise, so it definitely should have recorded running footsteps. Also, neither the dancing girl nor the dog seem to notice anyone is running straight towards them. Take a look at this quick clip of another possible shadow person in someone's basement and tell me if you think it's real. If you think it's computer effects, then please tell me exactly what clued you in. I personally see valid arguments on both sides. शुरू से लेकर एंड तक देखे शुक्रिया ये आप देख सकते हैं क्योंकि मैंने और अजीब अजीब सी हरकतें करती रहती है ये आप देख सकते हैं Ahmed knows of someone in need of his help. She's apparently been taken over by something paranormal, and he hopes to break it by reciting the right words over her bedridden figure. The orb activity picks up whenever he speaks. Her gray hands have marks and worn knuckles. Her fingers are constantly flexing. When she reaches for Ahmed at 3 minutes and 54 seconds, her arms are likewise discolored and marred. Something has been hard at work destroying her from the inside out. We don't get to see much of her face, but when we do get a glimpse, it looks scary and possessed. A twisted sneer across cracked gray skin at 9 minutes and 4 seconds. By the end of the session, she says something that makes him stop recording with a small sigh. Tell me what she says here to seemingly break his spirit. The possibility of this being real depends on if you believe in spirits taking someone over. Caught on tape is a scary woman, no doubt about that, but she could also be suffering from some kind of illness that causes delusions and skin conditions. This could also be makeup and some very good acting. The orbs could be from a dusty room, but the way they move over her makes me wonder if this is a real paranormal video caught on tape. Zishan Sheikh is fooling people with a scream mask all night until he goes a little too far. He's sitting in the road with his back turned when he scares the driver of this vehicle unconscious. I don't know if it's staged or if this person had some kind of heart condition and passed out. I'm not even sure he is still alive at this point. Either way, this YouTuber cradles the person's body in his arms and prays. It's unclear what happens next. The fact that they immediately stopped recording makes me think this stranger's reaction could be real. Hurricane Irma was a Category 5 hurricane that lasted from late August until mid-September in 2017, with hurricane winds of up to 180 miles per hour. Irma devastated several areas, including the eastern United States, Puerto Rico, Cuba, the Bahamas, the Caribbean islands. Caught on tape and published by Tom Steers on September 15, 2017, the clip shows a downpour of rain and heavy winds over a swimming pool, assumedly on the coast of one of the affected areas. A man in black swimming trunks launches out into the wind and rain with a GoPro in his hand to hop into the hotel swimming pool. The water in the pool is heaving, not to the degree of the Nepali earthquake, but enough to where you certainly wouldn't want to test nature at its angriest. But I think so, the Canadians are watching this happen and the Americans are running out. Look at this video. <laughs> Did he have a in his hand? Yeah. No, he had a GoPro in his hand. Oh, oh yeah. God! I can't a little bit. After a quick dip, however, the man pops back out unharmed. Another thrill seeker who could have wound up injured or worse from his thrill seeking. What's in the sky over Medellin, Colombia? Lorna Mascura shares this video of a dark unknown object aloft in the clouds. Let's take a look. Okay, I'm in 4K mode now. Like iPhone, iPhone 13 Pro. I need to zoom more. 
Guys, what the f is that? The object is far away and it's hard to make out any details from this clip, but it appears dark and doesn't look like it's moving. He captures the surroundings and returns to the unidentified flying object. Honestly, I'm still... Is it the weather balloon, right? This time it looks like a square or cube. A moment later, a plane passes at a distance. Like, look, look, there's a plane. There's a plane because we have an airport here, like to the left, to the right. To the right. What is that? The object remains still in the sky for nearly three minutes of the clip. Everyone in the comments is completely perplexed by this video, as am I. I have no clue what it could be. It does not look like a weather balloon at all, and I have no other theories considering it doesn't move. Share your ideas in the comments. A YouTuber named Essie Styles is camping in the woods of Hinton, Canada when he hears the last thing that anyone wants to hear just outside of their tent. A lone wolf's howl pierces through their conversation and renders both Essie Styles and his friends silent as night sets in. They soon realize they are vastly outnumbered. If anyone watching this happens to be an animal wildlife expert, I'd like to know if these wolves were howling because they were aware of the human presence nearby, or if this was for some other reason. Perhaps this was a warning to S.E. Styles not to come any closer, although I'm sure he and his friend did not need any extra convincing. Jal Bundy has caught some weird things on camera while exploring the forest outside of his village late at night. In front of them is the white outline of a phantom apparition that for some reason stands out against a backdrop of total darkness. When they rush towards the apparition, you can see it shrinks into a small ball of paranormal energy and disappears around the tree. Is this strange ball of light edited, or really paranormal is what I want to know. I feel like this video could be real because it's late at night. They sound scared and those woods look scary too. Freaky, right? A YouTuber named Johnny B. Good goes ghost investigating at an underground memorial deep in the woods to see if they can uncover any evidence of the paranormal. They notice these rocks are in a strange formation that I think could have been used for some kind of black magic. These rocks were placed here in a circle once. Yeah. In this one corner. Why is there a hole right there? Sure enough, holes are in two corners of the room. Could this be part of the spell? They ask if this place is a portal, and look what their K2 meter does in response. Is that a gateway to you? Yeah, okay. And here's where it goes from creepy to downright sinister. Their UV light detects two blotches of fluid. They could have come from some kind of vein opening ritual that never should have been to scream. Don't let me stop you. Number 5. A paranormal researcher is walking through a graveyard in Colombia when a sudden strange feeling makes him turn around in time to see a mysterious figure walk behind a spooky tree and it's all caught on tape. The brave paranormal investigator quickly runs up to the other side of the tree and, with no editing cuts that I notice, observes that the figure has mysteriously disappeared. The phantom-like apparition has long hair and walks with its head down. Something tells me that if this is real, then it was taking a few steps from its grave before disappearing from sight. Like I said, I don't see any editing from the time he sees the ghost to the time he runs up the tree. 
So this was all done in one continuous take as far as I can tell, and is most likely a real paranormal ghost sighting caught on tape. D-Doc Michael is a Korean-based YouTube channel run by duo Tichi and Michael. The pair travels to various alleged haunted locations across South Korea and document their experiences. On March 21st, 2021, Michael ventures alone to what is said to be the grounds of a passed away shaman. The first two and a half minutes of the exploration are rather quiet, but that changes when he finds what looks like a small office or reception desk. He is checking out some paintings left there, and he is startled when he smells what resembles ash. <laughs> this could explain the box of matches on the table, but he gets a fright when a knife left on a plate starts moving on its own. This causes him to flee the room briefly, before he returns and tosses the knife outside. Later, after cautiously passing in front of a mirror, he peers into the next room and is startled to see what appears to be candlelight coming from the other side of some faded glass. As he discovers, to his relief, it is just a street light. His live chat starts frantically typing to look at the ceiling. Confused, he looks all over the ceiling but finds nothing, but that's when they tell him to look at it through the mirror. He he does so, but again finds nothing. However, the chat seems to have seen something on the ceiling through the mirror when he passed by it earlier. It's hard to tell if there is actually something there, but maybe you can see it for yourself. Deeper into the house, he sees a rollout poster sticking out around the door. Much to his shock, it appears to be lightly moving up and down, as if trying to roll itself. It gets a good way up before dropping down again, leaving the startled man to slowly creep around. On the parchment is what appears to be a caricature of a being or symbol. Eventually, he starts asking if whatever is there will talk to him. A loud sliding noise startles him. The investigation escalates when lights in the room starts flickering on and off without explanation. His voice becomes more distressed at this point, and he is clearly reaching the end of his nerve. However, he ventures into the room where the light came from to investigate, only to find nothing there, and that the electricity doesn't even work. Despite seemingly confirming this, he finds another flickering light in the next room. <laughs> As Michael tries to peer around the corner, a section of the wall falls and almost lands on top of him. <laughs> Clearly, something doesn't want him around. He makes a quick exit from the room, then returns to apologize and ask to talk. However, he doesn't stay long, seemingly compelled to another room. There, he finds a photograph left on a table. Could this be who he has been encountering? The creepiest encounter of the entire night is when Michael peers into a dark room, only to see a figure moved in the shadows. What? The figure resembles a shoulder, with its neck and head obscured. Something remains within these walls, and Michael is clearly convinced he has communicated with something. Hopefully the duo will return together and conduct another investigation in the future. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.